Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is another quick sit down lesson on this uh, April the 4th, 2022, on this Monday afternoon. And the title of this uh, sit-down lesson is going to be, um, I guess you probably might call it the down, downfall of Babylon, economic-wise. And this is a news article from RT.com. And this was posted on April the 4th, 2021. And this is from the uh, business area session section. Business news from uh, RT.com. And this is from a top Wall Street banker warns of U.S. economy uh, risk. Uh, Ukraine uh, risk. I mean, UK, Ukraine crisis. And Russia's sanctions have added to soaring inflation, uh, J.P. Morgan boss says. It says the combination of inflation, the conflict in Ukraine and Russia, sanctions may uh, dramatically increase risk ahead for the United States. J.P. Morgan chief executive Jamie uh, Dot. Demon, if I pronounce his name right, Slakia, uh, said in his annual letter to the shareholders on Monday, he has warned of a unpredictable consequence for the nation's economy. It says, according to the Demon, the outbreak of the conflict in Europe has changed things, rolling market, and relying. Alliance and restructuring global global trade uh, patterns that introduce both risk and opportunities for the U.S. and other countries. He will, he will. The war in Ukraine and the sanctions on Russia at at a minimum will slow the global economy, and it could easily get worse. Uh, De Dam Damian said. Uh, the head of the biggest U.S. bank point to the uncertain about how the conflict will conclude and its impact on supply chains, especially for those involving energy supplies. It says many more sanctions could add, which could dr dramatically and unpredictably increase their effects along with the unpredictability of war itself and uncertainty surrounding global co commodities supply chains then this makes for a potential explosive situation diamond say i speak later about the pre carers nature of the global energy supply but for now simply that supply is easy to disrupt it says the banker added that jp morgan isn't worried about the direct imposer to russia though it could still lose about one billion over time it says meanwhile another wall Street bank goldman sachs warns uh, warned last month the united states will probably enter a recession if oil prices continues to soar, right, this has been the worst, you know, that, and, and since he mentioned that, you know, that's been the worst crisis since uh, 2008, you know. And reading on with the news article, it says, uh, if oil prices continues to soar, amend Russia sanctions and the lack of alternative sources, uh, the 
the sharp rise in gasoline prices across the United States has already hit consumers' uh, confidence. A rising concern of a uh, spending pullback. President Joe Biden has claimed that Moscow is entirely to blame for the surging U.S. Uh, gasoline prices. I mean, even if he did, uh, even if he did blame them on that, but still at the same time, before all this occurred, we still was dealing with hyperinflation and the cost of living was going up and the stock market crashing, having mixed views of the current Russian-Ukraine situation. You know, and the, uh, the, the debt ceiling was high, you know, about what, two or three trillion dollars in debt. You know, with uh, different companies that they owe, especially with China, you know, with the technology, supplies, and goods, and then with the, uh, you know, uh, the debt ceiling with these uh, students will have uh, student loan debt. The United States was in debt with that as well, too. So, if all this was occurring before all this even happened, of Joe Biden blaming Russia for all this. You know, like I mentioned before, we were still dealing with hyperinflation, you know, the cost of living, and all that, you know. So, yeah, you know, it says, uh, Moscow, you know, President Joe Biden has claimed that Moscow is entirely to blame for the surge. U.S. gas line prices conceding that he won't be able to do much now under the runway inflation and the pump. Right, so, you know, this is indications of, uh, you know, the downfall of Babylon from an economic standpoint and many other uh, standpoints of aspect of this current situation as well, too. So since he, you know, the top uh, Wall Street banker warns of the economy since he made that statement, and we are definitely approaching that with the a risk of uh, the economy hitting a crash, you know, especially with the uh, continual of uh, gas prices going up and the continual of uh, cost of living going up and the continuing of uh, possible food shortages, you know, and many other factors that regarding to the, the economy. Yeah, the United States might have uh, created more jobs and uh, lowering the unemployment rate for so-called ne- Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and many other Americans as well, too. But, you know, that's still not going to make a difference because, you know, the hyperinflation, the uh, food shortages potentially, you know, because as you've been seeing in the past, what, month or two or so, and throughout this whole year of January, and doing the whole, I meant to say the whole month of January all the way to March, and the whole year of 2022, all we've been seeing the uh, prices of uh, food going up, uh, the prices of, uh, you know, gas, you know, the hyperinflation, the crash of the uh, Wall Street, you know, the Dow Jones having mixed reactions, amending the current tensions over there in Russia, the Ukraine situation. So many different aspects, it shows the uh, indication of the downfall of uh, Babylon the Great, you know, which is according to the Holy Scriptures. Because, you know, this is the modern-day Babylon, you know, over here in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, in the whole world, especially over there in Europe, you know, it's going to hit them as well, too, you know, especially when it comes to gas. Because, you know, I believe Russia is ranked second of uh, oil production quality. So, you know, you know how that goes. You know, these other countries in Europe and the United States, they, then it's going to, the United States going to get affected by, which is currently is affected by, and Europe and these European countries that's allied with uh, Russia, 
when it comes to oil share, you know, they're going to get uh, affected by that as well, too, you know. And I'm going to bring out a, a scripture with that as well, too. This is the book of Jeremiah 51 and 8. And it reads for the Holy Scriptures. Uh, verse 8 in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, Babylon has certainly fallen. And the scroll, how for her take, bond for her pain. If so be, she may be healed, right? This place is not going to be healed. Modern day Babylon is definitely not going to be healed. You know, with the. Uh, Hyperinflation of things, uh, the cost of living, you know, the house pricing, the housing market, you know, uh, supply chains, uh, the gas prices going up, you know, everything that's going up, you know, even if they did added jobs and all that, and then the Wall Street, mixed reactions, you know. The Dow Jones, the S&P 500, you know, the NASDAQ, you know, and especially with uh, the guy, a top, a, a top person from uh, Wall Street, you know, he warned about a possibly uh, a global, <clears throat> a global economic crash, you know, it's going to affect the economy, especially with this uh, current situation with the uh Ukraine and Russia situation, you know, because that's kind of hitting them economic, especially with the oil production, you know. And, you know, it's going to affect over there in Europe, you know, it's going to affect globally as well, too, you know, over the uh, United States and over there in uh, European countries as well, too, you know. And I'll um, bring out one more scripture. And I believe this scripture right here goes into huh. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I'll talk to you. How you been doing? Good. How are you? I'm done doing all right. Good. Yeah, I was at a uh, school today. I just came in not too long ago. Oh. Yeah. Have you had a good day? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. She come right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Oh, mom. Oh, landlord at the door. Landlord at the door. Yeah. Oh, I talk to you. Yeah, I talk to you. Mm -hmm. So lucky about that. Let's talk to my landlord, but uh, I believe it's a scripture. Uh, this might be it right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. And Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And that made all the earth drunken, the nations drunken of her wine. Therefore, therefore the nations are mad, right, you know, because the nations are mad at the door of Babylon. Because, you know, I believe the United States was blaming the Iran for the, uh, no, I believe Iran was blaming the United States for uh, uh, momentarily pulled back of the, uh, I believe, of the uh, 
the 2015 revival of the nuclear deal because they kept on pulling back the economics sanctions or whatever and then they keep on putting sanctions on Russia and North Korea and many other oh okay yeah yeah I spoke to her I said yeah I spoke to her too yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, light skin a little bit. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. See, that's why I'm trying to tell my about this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. So yeah, you know, uh, like I was mentioned before, you know, that's um, you know, these nations was getting hit with these uh, sanctions, and you know, modern day Babylon try to uh, influence, put their influence of the Western culture and the Western society of these other nations, you know. And these nations have dropped the wine of the fornication of Babylon the Great. Now they're turning their backs against Babylon the Great. And, you know, that goes into let the weak say I am strong. And you're starting to see these other nations are starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she sure do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, for your family, family real. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Or gently mm -hmm. or whether you can't play it, man. Yes, we're talking about this shit today. Yeah. You got to take my mind, you got to play it. Yeah. You got to play it. You got to play it. You got to play it. You got to You got to play You got to play it. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, you know, hey, the nations are mad at Babylon the Great, you know, and they are turning their backs on against them, you know, and, and it says in the book of Joel, you know, let the weak say I am strong. And you start to see these nations start to show their military might, capability, and strength. You know, with uh, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea. You don't want to go out there. No, it's a no there. <laughs> no, BG. What you want to go out there for? The free. <laughs> Look how I'm saying this, you You ain't going out there, BG. <laughs> Now what is your problem? No, Kiki. Don't go outside. Mike, you home, you hot. No, Kiki. Bye. Slocky. Slocky with that mess with our cat and stuff. But yeah, you know, it shows you that uh, let the weak say I am strong, you know. Like I mentioned before, you know, the the nations, you know, mad at door of Babylon, you know, because they are not interested no more with a Western society of influence, a pushing agenda influence of, uh, you know, with the uh, uh, pushing their, their culture and their agenda in these other countries, you know. These nations are drunk the wrath of uh, Babylon the Great, you know, and these nations are mad. And let the weak say I'm strong, like China, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, you know. And these other allies going to turn their back on Dota Babylon as well, too, you know. That's why it's going to be a potential uh, global economy collapse, especially with the oil production, you know. And it's going to affect uh, the, Bab the, the daughter of Babylon. It's going to hit these European countries as well, too. You know, the guy from uh, Wall Street, you know, he made that statement and warning that might be a potential of an economic collapse. And we're going to see potentially the downfall of Babylon the Great, you know, like I mentioned before, early in this video, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying. The spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, White Alshai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, and glory, and honor to to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone. Uh, Christian's word, truth, and sincere. Shout out to the Aki, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Uh, Christian's word, truth, and sincere. And shout out to the Aki, that be like unto the speckled bird. Christian's word, truth, and sincere. And until next time, I will say Shalom and the ball the ball.